Okay, time for a little update on my uh, planned chassis refurbishment on my TVR Griffith. Um, as you can see, the chassis is in, in pretty good nick, really, but it's all been waxed and it's been waxed over and over for the years. So I'm going to go and take it this week to get the chassis steam clean. And the guy who's doing it said it'd be better if I remove the exhaust from the car. Um, because there's this, I don't know if you can see, there's this real big plate here that mounts the silencer on and uh, obviously it restricts his access with, with his lance to, uh, to clean the chassis properly. Um, so I've got to take that off and then I'm going to trailer the car up there to, uh, to get the chassis steam cleaned and hopefully get, make more, more mess at his place rather than mine. But um, to get the exhaust off, the uh, this anti-roll bar here has to be removed. Um, quite a simple job really, it's only a few bolts holding that on, but that's got to come off. And then this plate, the plate which I just mentioned, that has to come off. And then we can undo... Undo the clamp at the front there, and that clamp there, and uh, hopefully uh, the the exhaust will slide out backwards. But the the exhaust on the TVR Griffith is actually in one piece, right from here at the front of the engine, right to the back of the car in one big piece. It's probably about eight foot long or or something silly like that. So it's quite a big, quite a big old piece to manhandle around, but. Fortunately, this one's a sports system and it's, it's quite light. It's uh, the box is half the size of the um, of the standard system, so hopefully I can uh, get it off by myself with a bit of luck. So there we go. So what I shall do is I shall now remove the exhaust and then I'll um, get the chassis clean and I'm hoping the results are going to be good. And I'll put some more pictures up and, and uh, folk can see what what it looks like underneath with no exhaust on. Okie dokie, see you later. Well, when they have the exhaust off, um, put up a bit of a fight but uh, got it off in the end. There's actually um, a JP sports exhaust fitted to my car and um, believe it or not it's over 10 years old and it still looks pretty damn good actually in uh, <laughs> yeah you can just you can see there that it's a very high quality high grade stainless steel that uh, JP over in Macclesfield use when they make these exhausts and they do give a lifetime warranty on them and I suspect that um, they do that for a reason, so that was a good buy I think really, sounds quite nice too. You can see the length, <laughs> it is actually the pretty much the full length of the car, just in one piece it would be a bit more convenient really if it had a couple of joins in it, but that's the way they build them so um, that's the way it is. And then we uh, you see under the car now with with no exhaust on. And you can see that access is access to the chassis is uh, greatly improved. We should be able to get all up here uh, in where the prop shaft tunnel is, and uh, right around the the whole thing really. So that's the plan. And the diff's got to come out at some point because that needs some work doing on it as well which I, I did mention once before but uh, as for the chassis I think the chassis looks pretty good actually just uh, show you what I'm expecting to see after it's been steam cleaned so 
if it comes up like that I'll, uh, I'll be pretty happy. I'm sure there's going to be some areas that are going to need uh, a little bit of work and touching up but uh, in general that looks pretty pretty good to me really and up there should be should be uh, right back to the paint because uh, quite a bit of wax up there that's um, never really been exposed to anything really so it should it should should come good likewise there that's by the prop there the, where the diff's been leaking oil for some time and again if it if it all works out like that I'll be quite happy and it'll be money well spent just to make sure that everything is as good as it can be and uh, carry on using the car um, good. that's it so anyway I'll do I'll do some more video when when I get it back on Wednesday from the steam cleaner and uh, we'll see what kind of a job they do on the chassis how it all comes up engine mounts look good that's an, another area on these TVRs that um, sometimes if people put the cheaper mounts in they, they can come away from the the bonding of, of the uh, rubber can come away from the bracket and it causes the engine to drop on one side not very clever really it uh, won't look okay so and the other side a bit of wire in there that needs tidying up not very happy with that but I've saw that out but, uh, anyway and there's the yeah, there's the, the downpipe from the uh, from the exhaust there you can just see it. So.